Okay, this video is going to be short because uh, uh, it's about to rain. I want to get it done as fast as I can. Basically, I'm going to be repairing this cracked transmission case on an O2 um, Mitsubishi Lancer. You can see the crack right here and it goes all the way up. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to clean the surface with sandpaper and acetone. Okay, I cleaned it off decently well. It could be better, but I think that'll be good enough. Uh, now I'm going to use the JB Weld. You can get more detail on how to use JB Weld than my other video I made. So I'm going to put that on now, and I'm using the industrial strength one. Okay, uh, put the JB Weld on. You got a little on the cross member. That's not a big deal. Going to wait 24 hours and then see if it leaks. Okay, it's the next day. It's been about, uh, probably about 15 hours. Seems pretty solid. Um, I'm going to test to see if it leaks. If it does leak, I'm going to just uh, put another coat on it, but I really think it'll be okay. This isn't really a high pressure spot. So let's fill it up. Oh, still dry as a bone. Some of you might be saying, Matt, why don't you start the car? Well, this leak was actually worse with the car off. So, the fact that it's not leaking now is a very good sign. But I will, I do want to test it while it's on level ground, because it's kind of tilted to one side. It's back on level ground and there's no leak. All right, all right, I'll start it up. Hey, you happy? That's it, thanks for watching. Hey guys, before I go, just wanted to say that I made a Facebook page. You can click on the link right here and get to it. If you can give it a like, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for watching.